days. I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my ball. Evo, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishaya in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It's a grave thing to be elderman in a time of war, Chelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king. ...and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. Maybe you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge... Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. The legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. He parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Hang on, we need to stick together. Our Bishop Dayalov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within is warmth. The Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dayalov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, all of you! Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Cheolbeath, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Cheolwulf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. 
Good faith is all I ask. My demands, until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from I will soon fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Jailbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are... Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are wasting time! Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would I quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. You are wasting time! Now you dangle silver before me! You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised fawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shiravshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisers. I am that. Anir Apkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will be key. And you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. I'm waiting! We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision? Last, Ivar is increasingly agitated. Your silver's in the hands of one who wants it most. 
Now pray to your god, it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Quickly! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Give me a hand!
Bishop Dale out know that the battle is done. <gasps> you did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Ivar. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear Lol. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well. For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlocan outpost, down south of Quatford. I came across Wenlocan earlier. I've taken that cargo already. Well done, Dranger. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury. West of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Westbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then. Once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. We'll drag Rodri back to the peace table soon enough. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane.
As a Norse, I know I have little right to ask for your help. But I'm fighting to bring this war to an end. If you're truly fighting that devil, Rodri, I'll tell you what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you. Hold a moment. If you need extra help... I may. Good Mercian men are working in that quarry. They all fought for Thane Merton. If you find yourself in a pitched fight, call out his name in praise. The workers will rally to you. God bless Thane Merton. Understood. Filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace.
Yes, the merchant!
show me. There we are. Hori and Wenlokan, both done. That should shake Rodri to his senses. Now to Wesbury, before Eva causes more problems. I think so. A faint grassy odor? No. Ivar, Cheolbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Enir is the Britons' best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point in bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chaelberth. Listen to this old man's stories, and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Lerichester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. Do not take long. My blood is up. Julia, 
wish this Britain's out of here. Those days will ever stop. Someone set that fire. They find them. Get a good view of our handiwork, Talbert. Join us, Eivor! Look here! Look upon this master! Eivor! Did you see Talbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chailbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh, we won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. To survive a battle is to be born anew, in blood and screams. My father died in a snake pit. ...left nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father Ragnar left a strong saga. Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. Put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air, or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? <laughs> <laughs> 
We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup. Which is eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. Lots of hungry you go fish here. Hooked! Bring it to shore! Yes. Another eel! Almost enough for a hearty soup! Bring it to shore. The old thing gets broken here. That's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chalbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rothri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp, just here.
Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Cheolbat? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Ang Harrod, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Shout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. To. Someone here must know. Have you seen Chailbeard? I don't keep the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another. I'm looking for Chailbeard. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar, it's done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbert? And to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Cheralbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Cheralbert? Cheral... <coughs> Bert? Did none of you see Chelbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this truck. Oh, my old 
Und in den Tor liegt's freezing! Nice nap? That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. Have a look sooner. Show me what lies ahead. Go, my eyes. What happened here? This doesn't look good. Blood, not from a boar. A wolf dragging something through the dirt. Jailbert. <laughs> Tears of Freya. Jailbert, uh, 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 you live. Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes.
I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Save your strength. Hush, Gilbert. 
will soon be among Well met. Information. Well worth yes, a little right. silver, I assure you. Now, show me your map. There it Faster this way. Just breathe, Chelbert. We'll soon be there. Some help here! Ivar! Dear love! By the hand of Thor! Is that... Eivor! What happened? No! No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Ivar. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is, axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. We were fools. An Edling was entrusted to us in time of war. We did not protect him. I taught him to protect himself! Not well enough. This was stuck in his chest. Britain's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Dale, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kissed. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. You'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rodri to me.